So with the dusk to dawn curfew now in full effect, the lives of street families in Nairobi has become even much harder. From running battles with police officers, forced eviction from places they know to be their homes, to lack of food being situations they have to contend with every day. They now want the government to intervene by providing food, soap and other essentials so that they can also combat the coronavirus. Fadaz Alamed reports on the tribulations street families are going through during this curfew. As is, life is already hard for these street families. On a day-to-day -day basis, they depend on handouts to survive. But with every measure taking people away from the city and into their homes, so has been the difficulty in finding well-wishers who will offer food. The situation now compounded by the closure of many hotels and limited working hours for the few in operation. <laughs> We are trying to survive. Like in the city, we are survive normally. If you have a job, you can get a job, you can get a job, you can get a job, you To make matters worse, the curfew in the last two days saw them being targeted by police officers who patrol the streets at night. However, on this particular night, police officers were not chasing after the street children. Some of the police officers who we spoke to say the street families posed a nightmare as they had no alternative outside the CBD. Despite this, please, Nairobi County announced that its officials will continue fumigating the CBD and its environs. An exercise that will see street families and the streets that they occupy also sanitized as part of the measures to contain the spread of the new coronavirus. This group was, however, lucky today. Private organizations came in to provide foodstuffs, soap, and other essentials. With infections from the virus increasing and a cure not yet found, the fate of the street families is still unknown. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.